And we're live. Welcome to the 51st sprint review call of the common stack. And there's a lot to talk about. So let's just dive right into it. And the biggest thing that you need to know about the common stack right now is that the commons are coming. Do you have a nonprofit community, a for good public goods focused community that's currently begging for donations and just trying to scrape by? Well, how awesome would it be if your community could, from the bottom up, build an economy around the value that you're creating and actual uh, and following the best practices of Elnor Ostrom's and other Commons researchers. This is what the Common Stack is offering and we're gonna announce a lot more about it coming soon. So stay tuned to our Twitter. There's, there's big announcements coming, uh, just the teaser. Uh, so that's that's the big thing you need to know if if there was anything this sprint we're really working on launching commons as a service and you'll learn more about that soon. Uh, the other thing that's probably worth mentioning is we are our monthly budget report the outlooks are not so good honestly we are super short on cash we still uh, we really need uh, your support and maybe i'll just throw it over to Tam to talk about how uh, what our thoughts are to rectify that that situation. <laughs> Oh, so much pressure. <laughs> um, well, honestly, you know, the common stack um, is really bad at asking for money. And yet somehow we've been funded by donations and grants since our, since our inception. Um, so one of the revenue sources that we hope to at least cover our own salaries is to is these commons deployments. And so working with communities for a fee to help advise a community through the cultural build of deploying a commons together. But we're also applying for grants. Uh, and if you, um, yeah, if you know people or organizations that would be able to continue funding our Commons work, please get in touch with us, uh, reach out to us. And if you think you could recommend us, that's even better recommendations always help. Okay, I also wanna talk about a, uh, a tweet that's on our radar. Uh, it is a older um, um, presentation from, uh, Jeff, let me just share my screen so I could share this tweet. Here it is. So Jeff, of course, one of the co-founders of Common Stack and researcher at Block Science, oopsie, uh, reshared this uh, osmotic funding, uh, osmotic governance deck that he uh, put together a few months ago. It's really a fascinating look into this viscous liquid democracy, one of this one of the ideas that uh, Jeff has been researching and playing with a lot. Um, so he talks about uh, conviction voting and then this idea uh, of conviction voting plus super fluid uh, super using superfluid for delegated uh, governance tokens. Um, I would very much recommend looking through this if you want to know how osmotic funding can work. And if you want to try it out, you can't yet, but you will soon be able to. Blossom Labs has built osmotic funding into their gardens. Um, they're dog fo fooding it themselves by using uh, osmotic funding or what they're calling, I think, uh, fluid proposals. Uh, to fund the Blossom Labs team here. Uh, you can see their proposal on their discourse, but then also really see how the, the funding is streamed. So it's a constant stream of funding. And as um, communities decide that this is no longer a valid proposal, they can uh, remove their weight for this proposal and the funding will slowly increment or de uh, decrease. So it's very cool to see that live after so much thought and research. Uh, something else that we want to share is that Jeff and Z were on um, the green pill last week, I think, two weeks ago. Uh, it was very cool. I'm going to leave you with two really sweet co quotes. There was so many quotable, um, quotable moments in here and so much really good thinking. And um, I don't, like, Jeff and Zargum are so far on the edge of, of this kind of uh, governance and democracy. Uh, Jeff says, this is not democracy at all because we have no decision before the vote, even after the vote. Maybe I voted for a politician who elect, uh, whose electoral reform uh, on the platform of electoral reform and they didn't deliver. And then you're just stuck with them for four years. And then Z's, one of Z's comments was democracy in the context of complex adaptive systems is more about having meaningful feedback loops between the governed and the process that governs them. And I think that's actually one of the tenets of uh, what we're building in Common Stack. And I'll pass to Livia at this point. 
Thanks, Tim. Yeah, I want to share a little bit about our current situation with grassroots economics. So uh, we had a sync this week to understand how we can move forward. Uh, what is the scope of our work, which is around uh, specking out the governance around the commons communities that are on the ground in Kenya and also the Grassroots Economics Foundation. And I'm mostly observing and documenting what is happening in these communities to then from the practices they already have propose uh, new governance frameworks that can help them be more custodial with uh, their private keys and um, all their economic uh, autonomy. So this is a path that needs a little bit of education. So there's uh, some cultural build proposals that we're making for grassroots economics, but for that we need a grant to support our work. So the common stack and G teams will be working together to look for a grant to fund um, yeah, to fund the next steps of this work in Kenya. And also speaking of Will Rudick and grassroots economics, he's the guest on the episode three of Community Currencies Now, with, which you can uh, find in the link here below. Um, yeah, and with that, I'll pass to Christopher. Thanks. Uh let me share my screen and describe to you a little bit about some big visions uh, and also big changes for the uh, for the praise project uh, so um, the the big the big vision for for praise is really to take make praise into this this ecosystem eventually you know we, we envision it to be a, a sort of an open open network where where the praise information from various communities or in the best of words all communities that you are involved in are stored in some so, sort of on-chain praise data where all your uh, you can see all, all your contributions in all communities and we believe that all that information put together uh, creates a reputation signal that is just off the charts compared to anything else uh, uh, in in the industry uh, but when, when projects look at on-chain data, like token transfers and that kind of stuff, this is so much more, gives so, you so much more context. So the big vision is to make praise into this vibrant ecosystem where we see uh, a lot of third-party tools being built on top of, of the data available, the rewards tool, like tools for community insights, creating perhaps uh, proof of impact tools or proof of contribution, proof of personhood and reputation tools. Uh, so. That is sort of the long-term big vision of where we uh, want to go, and to get there, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a. There's a number of steps we need to take, and and currently we are actually actually at step one. We have the self-hosted praise, and in to get to the to the praise ecosystem, we need to make praise more into a, a protocol. We need to. Uh, bootstrap and eventually start up a community and um, most likely a DAO or, or around the concept. We need to turn praise into a service so that communities can really easily uh, get online and, and st start up uh, a praising. And um, once we have a, a service, we also need to build this network where the you know the various communities maybe secure each other's data. And then by that time, we start reaching the point where it actually becomes an ecosystem and where it actually becomes an economy, so that every interaction with with praise somehow um, allows you gives you governance rights, or or it becomes part of a, a, a linked uh, e economy. Uh, so the, the, the big vision, this is where we would like to go. And how is the, the best way to, to realize this? We have, have come to the conclusion is not for CommonStack to continue developing praise. So now the, the big change is that we have handed over the baton to uh, to General Magic. So the General Magic, I, I come from General Magic and the, the General Magic developers have, have been developing praise all along. And now we have just straightened that relationship out and, and made sure that now Going forward, General Magic will will push the development uh, of praise and and spawn it off into a separate thing. Is we will try to secure a seed round uh, of investment to take these significant steps that you can see here. So if you uh, know a VC or, or a person that you 
believe you feel um, attracted by this vision, by all means, contact me or, or anyone at General Magic or Common Stack to get in contact with the Praise team uh, to re realize this vision. And also the uh, another good announcement, you don't have to wait for two years or whatever to have the uh, Praise economy being launched. You can launch Praise today. And uh, we are happy to announce that the Praise deployment guide is coming out any day. Uh, most likely uh, during next week, uh, the praise deployment guide describing you in, in detail the various steps you need to take in, in addition to setting up the technical system and on how to prepare the community and how to do cultural analysis, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so we are super excited to be able to uh, share that with you today. Uh, I think that was it. Yeah, and we also have a user profile page coming up in the Praise systems. Be, imagine you being able to share a link where you can showcase all your contributions being made on all, all communities. So this would be my uh, Praise profile page for the TEC. I can see my most important contributions being made to the TEC. Uh, that's it for me, I think. Did I miss something? No. Ivy, I'll pass it to Ivy. Thank you. Thanks, Christopher. Um, let me just share my screen. And uh, yes, um, I would love to uh, share some updates from uh, Trust Seed. So, um, Trust Seed uh, recently announced the uh, the opening the opening day for uh, for the uh, unconference. So it's going to be on uh, on November fifteenth. So, um. Uh, so uh, in on this day, uh, the opening session will run for um five uh, for five hours via Zoom, and um, participants can uh, will co-create the agenda together and uh, decide on the uh, types, uh, scope, and duration of uh, each sessions, uh, which will be focused around the main theme of the conference, which is uh, Protopia. So far, um, we have uh, we have seventy nine participants. And uh, so if you haven't registered yet, it's not too late. Um, you can still sign up for this um, peer-to-peer uh, learning sessions and uh, join other stewards. Uh, I will drop some links in the uh, description below so you can register and um, add the event to your uh, calendar. So uh, that's it from me. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I pass it back to you, Lydia. Thanks, Ivy. Yeah, I want to share a little bit about the transition the TC is going through. So during the last uh, two years and up until the hat for the whole process of the cultural build, the TC was structured mostly based on working groups and each working group was led by a community steward. And we also had the stewards working group as a place to align communication and coordination between all the work streams we had. And this was uh, quite successful for the for all this period up until now, the existence of the TEC. But we started to face some uh, financial challenges, which comes with a lot of learnings too around token utility, uh, around things that we could have worked on in this economic side of the TEC. So we're focus, focusing mostly on that and reducing operations for now. And this reduce of operation means that the stewards uh, working group is going through a transition, uh, therefore the whole structure of the TEC. And every Tuesday and Thursday, we're meeting to work on these transitions. And it's been a very beautiful collaborative process uh, led by Gideon that deserves so much praise for that. Um, so come on over if you're curious about how the TEC is moving forward. And what I can say is that we are aligning uh, more and more with the TEC's mission and advancing the field of token engineering. So it's exciting times. And uh, with that, I'll pass back to you, Griff. 
Thanks. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, we always love to, you know, we we get all the credit for all the great work that's happening in the common stack, but we don't deserve all of the credit. We're coordinating around a huge community. And so we always love to end our uh, review sessions with the praise uh, of the community of all the hard work that's happening. So I, I, I'll get to start. I'm going to first take all the good ones. Uh, I want to praise Angela for the incredible work she did with the TE Academy launch. So many people are, uh, are actually using using the Academy's new website and uh, and learning token engineering because of her hard work. So a lot of praise to Angela. I want to praise Vitor also for taking on the development of the T Academy website and the project management, taking it all on his shoulders. Uh, NFT certs are coming soon. He's working on it now. Super cool. I want to praise, of course, Rochelle for all the hard work she does on the accounting for Common Stack, Giveth, and General Magic. I want to praise Gideon for kicking off the curation service in the TEC, which is a super cool project that should be launching pretty soon. I want to praise Max, Ivy, uh, Maria, Andy, and AC for all the hard work and getting the trusted seat on conference off the ground. I want to praise Karmatic Acid, sorry, Lauren, Amin, and Sem uh, for all the incredible work supporting a, a really interesting hack that happened this weekend in the Giveth and Dapno communities. Uh, they're uh, them along with Edu, Lansky, uh, Alexi, and uh, Jesus, and, and so many others that came in to rally support to in a, in a tough time to work on the weekend throughout the nights to figure out the hack and how to pre how to prevent any further damage. And I want to give praise to Quinn uh, for volunteering to host an epic session on the network state uh, network state book in two weeks. So don't miss that one on the 18th. And I'll pass it over to Tam. Awesome. Uh, so I want to praise Will for uh, serenading us on his guitar in our sync this week. I thought that was a really nice touch. <laughs> For a much needed like anti-levity, if you will, uh, and also for his attention to and understanding um, and just improving governance models in the voucher economies that use community inclusion currencies and being so, um, you know, easy to work with. It's just been a real pleasure working with him so far. I'd like to play, praise Mikel for his enthusiasm about grassroots economics and common stacks. Uh, and if we don't have a meeting one week, he's always in my telegrams. Like, <laughs> you guys having a meeting this week? When can I come? How can I come? So I really appreciate the enthusiasm and that you keep showing up. I'd like to praise Anton for patiently interviewing me for Community Currencies this week. We only got halfway through, but I really appreciated your honest curiosity and your wanting to learn and understand more. I'd also like to praise Angela a towering figure in token engineering and the catalyst behind the token engineering fundamentals. Uh, the first bachelor level token engineering program available and freely so. I'd also like to praise Gideon. Uh, his leadership and commitment to the TEC is really genuine and um, heartfelt and he's really all in it and I think he inspires a lot of people, including myself. I'd like to praise Bear, Rex, NT, and Eram for their patience and continued critical contributions to the TEC. I'd like to praise Zeptimus. He did such a good job of uh, efficient transition of a working group. So he's sunsetted the transparency working group very efficiently with a lot of grace. And um, I think that's a, a good example for other working groups as well. I'd like to praise Christopher and Livia even though you're on this call, uh, for having the vision of what praise can be, you know, so much bigger than a rewarding contributor as it's I can see it as a foundational tool in the Web3 space that everyone uses. It's it's LinkedIn, but a million times better. And I'd like to praise Owaki for hosting Green Pill and being able to bring great guests like Zargam and Jeff uh, and their research to the world. And of course, I'd like to praise Jeff and Zargam for sharing their vanguard research around pluralistic governance and economies and um, so much that we can learn and they're thinking about the things that will be built in two years and that's just such a it's a crazy to hear it's like talking to them is like seeing into the future and i really love that so much and i'll pass it to usama oh thanks tam um yeah i want to praise uh, maria ivy and jenny for arranging uh trusted seat and conference ama I want to praise Stephen Thorne for his feedbacks on uh, our comments deployment announcement work. I want to praise uh, Jeff for his uh, evergreen content on Medium articles that really helped whenever we need some information that's uh, really helpful. Um, I want to praise Letty for sharing details regarding Refi Fest in our Discord channel. And yeah, uh, with that, I will pass to Livia. 
Thanks, Osama. I want to praise Will for his support on developing our partnership, for being patient and being such a great person to work with. I've been learning um, a really incredible amount with Will. I praise Gideon for putting his heart into the TEC transition, leading this huge effort that is helping us find the right track. I want to praise Bear for putting together many of the processes that are helping the TEC in the transition phase and for being totally proactive and modeling duocracy so well. I want to praise Chewy for wanting to share the learnings he's been having in the TEC and for pushing this effort with me and gathering people and making it happen. And I want to praise Angela for her tireless commitment to the success of token engineering and for being really the, the guiding, the leader of the space since 2018. And I'll pass to Emilia. Thank you, Lydia. And well, I would like to praise Ivy for her work on the brand perception call. She made a lot of efforts on that. So praise for Ivy. I want to praise Tamara for her very pedagogical way of giving me feedback on my work. I've been learning so much from you, Tam. So it's a great pleasure working with you. And also Olivia for your work on the CSA case studies. That gave me a lot of clarity in the implementation of the Common Stack Design Framework. And this will also help me a lot with the brand narrative of Common Stack. So I will pass it to Christopher. I think it's so no, there's no Christmas. I think I I'll pass it. Ah, yes, Ivy. I'll pass <laughs> it to Ivy. Thank you, Ivy. Yeah, uh, I want to praise Max and Dina for making the preparation for the uh, conference opening day. I want to praise Andrew, Sam, and Mel from doing good for hopping into special AMA with Trusted Seed and um, sharing all the details about the uh, Good Souls membership allow list. Uh, I want to praise Maria for hosting the AMA, the AMA with doing good and um, managing the Trusted Seed assets. I want to praise Steve for his wisdom in managing Twitter and sharing it with us. I want to praise Lauren, Anna Maria, Ahmad, as a laser and tree for running the Twitter accounts of the uh, Give It Galaxy. And I want to praise Zeb Timus for his admirable dedication to uh, TEC Transparency Working Group. And I pass it back to you, Drew. Rachel, did you get to go? No, not yet. <laughs> um, I'd like to praise uh, Jeff. Um, as well, and everyone knows he, he has done such a great work, uh, great research, and has written various awesome medium articles about commons and the systems and the tools for managing the commons. I found uh, the articles really, really helpful and insightful, especially uh, during this period that we were preparing to launch uh, our commons deployment service. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. I'll pass it back to you, Grace. Thanks, Rachel. And thank you for listening to the sprint review for common stack. This is the 51st one and 52 is going to be even better. So stay tuned.